Welcome, friends. Willkommen. Uh, how how do I say it in <clears throat> Spanish? I forgot. Bienvenida, or um, bienvenido, for the masculine uh, in Italian. How is it? I actually don't know it in Italian. Ah, okay, it's very similar. Benvenuto. Nice. <laughs> in Romanian, it's Binevenit. Something like that. Meanwhile, English. Welcome. <laughs> or welcome. So, today I'm gonna do something a bit different. Uh, in the opening of the stream, for more or less one hour, I'm gonna play Kenshi. And then, we're gonna get into... Uh, some more uh, DS1 practice. If the halberd doesn't drop, I'm just gonna <laughs> use the thing to spawn it in my inventory and do the practice run. Since uh, I'm more than sure I, I won't be able to do it today, since I'm uh, I'm not fully uh, recharged, let's say. So I, I planned to do a practice run, but if it's more than that, then then uh, it will be over <laughs> because it's a PB1 so better than PB1 is actually doing the challenge so yeah I hope you're doing fine my friends and uh, let's see how this game is I saw it at a friend and I wanted to play it since uh, a long time ago and I didn't <laughs> so now it's time uh, because after that mm, I think I'm gonna stream stream uh, more tomorrow and on Friday, so we might have three days in a row of stream, which is amazing. Uh, uh, okay, monitor two. I hope no, that's not the oh, no, that's not the right one. No, <laughs> no. That's the bad uh, display. It all <laughs> it started on the other one. Now, I was like, what's monitor number one and two? Usually the main monitor is the f one, but yeah. Well, save config. Let's go. Oh, it works. Now you should be able to see something soon. Uh. Yes, no, the resolution is uh, weird. Oh no. Why? Borderless. It needs to restart. Audio. I barely hear stuff. Ambient volume. Okay. What's the volume? I guess that's fine. Uh. I'm gonna leave it to one then. Eighty seven <clears throat> six VO. I'm not sure what VO is. UI volume. I guess I'm gonna leave it to six. Music frequency minutes. Ah, voiceover. Uh, max, I guess. I'm gonna leave the music to nine. And music fe frequency, I'm not sure. Minutes. 20 minutes or one minute. Like how often music happens? I want it permanently there. <laughs> so five is default. I have no idea. Also, thank you for the explanation, Sir Beardo. I hope you're doing well. Auto save. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it to 5 then. Though the resolution is a bit weird, so I'm gonna restart. I put it on borderless, I hope it works. Please. Same in minutes between songs. Uh, okay, so the smaller the better. More free. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it to the min minimum then. 
Okay, this should work better, I guess. I hope. Oh, yes, full screen. Full screen on stream two. Then one, one minute, easy. New game, okay, okay. Let's see, Wanderer. Difficulty default, cash 1000 credits, I guess. Playstyle RPG, you're uh, just a lone wanderer with nothing but a few coins, a pair of pants and a rusty sword, ready to venture out in the world. This is the way the game is intended to be played. The Wandering Trader. Zero credits, easy. Trading RPG, seeking to make your fortune, you spend the last of your savings on a backpack full of trade goods. On a pack animal and are about to start a new life as a trader. Uh, the Holy Sword. Okay, this one is harder. 100 credits. Wanted criminal. Playstyle. A down and out and wanted criminal. Scavenging a battlefield, you find something interesting. A legendary sword said to be the work of the gods themselves. Someone's going to be missing this, that's for sure. But who cares? It's your legendary sword now. So, I know from my friend. Uh, he's also a streamer. Even if he didn't stream in a while. Um... Uh, I recommend watching him when he'll get back. Uh, his name is K Payback, and he showed me this game. Played a lot of it. Also, he played a modded version. He heavily modded this game, and it got me interested. Uh, interested, since it's a gigantic sandbox made by mostly one person, right? And from what I've heard, the second game will come out soon. Well, soon, like. It's one day, so that's even cooler. And the team is bigger right now, so that's even better. And I understood there are some factions, and one of them is the Holy something. So yeah, I guess we stole the Holy Sword from the dead faction. Cannibal Hunters, the difficulty dodgy. Nine credits, I guess. Uh, action RPG, I ser seriously regret coming into cannibal territory. This was a stupid idea. Warning, you will be attacked immediately upon game starting. Not ever going for the first time play. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> the high... How many... Ah, okay, there are not so many. Um... I, I love it. Uh, the Hive Exile, hard, okay, zero, okay, have been exiled from your hive for not loving the queen enough, sent out into the wilds with no food or equipment. If you don't die from uh, pheromone withdrawal or big things, you'll be faced with finding uh, your place among the insane human civilizations. Son of a captain, captain. Difficulty normal, okay. Your father was a respected captain in the United States Army. He was killed in action, and after burning through your uh, meager savings looking for work, you find yourself penniless and hungry, with nothing left but your father's trusty katana and the shirt on your back. The United Cities are still your allies, but you will need them if you run into any troops from the Holy Empire. Those guys really hate you. Slaves. You're just another slave working in the Holy Rebirth pits to build a pointless statue. <laughs> a pointless statue. The dream of the rumored free lands to the south and hear tales of rebels to the north. Get into your cage straight away to avoid a beating. <clears throat> rock bottom, very hard. You've hit absolute rock bottom, you're alone, unarmed, naked and hungry. Lost in the middle of a harsh desert, desert, teeming with slavers and you just lost an arm. Good luck. Tell me if it's still loud, by the way. Empire Citizen. Difficulty default. Okay, so this is another default difficulty. A simple citizen of the United Cities. You lost your job and your house at the whim of a noble lord. Faced with poverty and starvation, which is a crime in this place, you decide to head out of town and find some form of self-employment before you starve to death. Holy Nation Citizen. A simple citizen of the Holy Nation. You live in relative safety as long as you show of obedience to Okran and his priests. I'm not sure what's this word though. Obedience? Anyway. Um, the world outside is said to be barbaric and violent and full of monstrosity, but you decide to venture out and decide for yourself. Guy with a dog. A homeless and hungry drifter rescues an abandoned puppy. It seems pretty useless. Maybe he will just eat it. The Freedom Seekers. Easy hard combination. Real-time strategy. Fed up with 
stifled city life and taxes. You gather a band to head out and found your home own home base. I've assembled a group of five other like-minded people and you've gathered a good supply of building materials to get started with. Nobodies. A group of five nobodies with nothing to their name, ready to go out and do something about it. Okay... Oh, this is a difficult choice. I guess I'm gonna choose the basic one for it now. Uh, easy prospecting. Bandit loots the player. Makes life unfair. <laughs> Good. I, I guess I'm just gonna play with the wonder, but... I wanted cream. No. 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 Maybe this one. But the Holy Empire hates me, so I actually would love to interact with all of them. Well, as depending on how much we can do in one hour. Um, Empire Citizen, guy with a dog, guy with, with the dog. Mm, nobodies. Yeah, let, let's start with the Wonder, and that's it. Striking metal surfaces with your bare hands, armor, robots, swords, causes damage to your hands unless you're a skeleton. A martial artist can condition themselves to the point that it's no longer a problem. I fear this game has many details. Did any of you play this game? And if so, do you have any recommendations? Feel free to backseat. Oh no, this will take a while. Human skeleton. Check. Human. I guess I'm gonna do a human. I'm gonna be boring like that. I see all of them have... Okay, hit points, security... Ah, okay, let, let's read. Let's read about each one of those. I know it's gonna... Oh my god, they have... Each one have a descript different descriptions. Wow. Primarily from farmer cultures, they still tend to be an aggressive race and are easily led astray. The worst of them live in ignorance, knowing only greed and fear, reacting to anything different with hatred and violence, but the best of them are some of the greatest civilized scientists, engineers, and warriors in the land. Squirge landers tend to value personal freedoms above all else. They don't tend to get along well with rules, regulations, and religions, and uh, as a result, have a reputation as social misfits and are often found in more adventurous professions. Despite this, however, they are highly creative, making them natural-born traders and skilled weaponsmiths. Uh, honest to a fault, laughing in the face of manners, moderation, and anything sensible, they make loyal friends, passionate enemies, and are great fun to drink with. Probably I'm gonna make a uh, Scorchlander. Skeleton. The skeletons are a complete mystery. Nobody knows where they came from and how they were made, but they are suspected to be thousands of years old, fully sentient and capable of feeling sadness, anger, excitement, compassion, thrill, and enjoyment. Although, they don't possess the ability to express anything visually. This, combined with the dry, their dry sense of humor, often confuses the other races, whom the skeletons see as somewhat volatile and unpredictable. They have no prejudice or, fe or fear of death and make for brutally effective warriors. Okay, Hive. Hive and check. Hive Prince. The highest ranking in, in a hive and right hands to the queen. Nobody has ever seen an actual queen. It is the princes that run everything. Three princes are usually the result of losing command to a rival prince or um, exiled sent away as punishment for some kind of failure. They are much more intelligent and free will than normal hive types. Uh, okay. Expendable workers born to labor for the good of their hive. They know only obedience and value service to the hive above all personal benefits, safety or comfort. Safety. Okay, that's a small thing. If separated from the controlling influence of the hive, they usually die, but in rare cases become free individuals, like ourselves if we choose this one. Bewildered by their newfound freedom and loss of a predetermined purpose, they wander lost and seek meaning, but usually just find death or exploitation. Okay, and soldier drone. Soldier drones created to protect their hive and 
and forced control over the workers. Stronger and less intelligent than a worker. Freedom seekers. Ooh. Freedom seekers are rare and usually end up finding mercenary work. Okay. Last one. Check. A warrior society that values strength and hardiness above more intellect intellectual uh, pursuits. They're sometimes a little humorless and have a reputation as dumb brutes, but this is not always the case. Their excellent skeleton plates provide a natural armor but hinders more dexterous pursuits like sneaking around. Well, I wouldn't like to sneak around anyway. Mm, I'm tempted to make this one actually. Okay, that looks funny. Face. Oh my god. Well. One hour full of um, customization. Okay, let's see the stats now for each. So, hit points. Hit points. All of them have the same. Oh, 200 hit points. 200 as well. To be honest, I would choose the one with the most hit points. Okay, so this one has less for farming, cooking, laboring, and less strength. I don't like that. But has weapon smithing, armor smithing, dodging, which is very good. Stealth. This one. Farming, cooking, science. Okay, so he doesn't have all the bonuses. But he has those three, okay. Uh, this one. Heavy weapons, robotics, turrets, stealthy dodging. Mm, I don't like this one. Uh, stats wise. I, I would love to have dodging. More dodging. Uh, the soldier. Why is so many things? No. Though he has the toughness. An attack. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go the, with the Scorch Lander. Idle stance. Okay, I guess. Guess this is okay. Skin tone. Can we make him blue? Oh, good evening, sir. Frequency, how are you doing today? Thank you for the lurk. Okay, let's make him very tall. Frame. Big posture. No. No, not like that. <laughs> no, not like this either. <laughs> Shoulder set. What is this? I guess like this. Neck position. Ugh. Oh my god. <laughs> Stressful week. Oh, no. Yeah, it, it, the same for me, actually. That, that's why I actually want to stream yesterday. Uh, but yeah, I, I couldn't sadly. So here I am. Trying a new game. Ooh. Ooh, yes, I, I want to make a very tall guy. Yes, a big boy. Bulk. Okay, let, let's not make him that that big I like this is fine hands okay uh, chest <laughs> okay like that. stomach <laughs> so I think this this is IRL me stomach wise and I think in those last weeks, no, no, not the chest, my bad. And last weeks, I think I got something like this. So that's a big upgrade. A uh, waist. Oh, oh, oh perfect. <laughs> now let, let's make him more or less normal. Hips. Oh. Uh. Uh, legs bulk. Oh, next shape, I guess, something like this. Yeah, it's fine. Face. <laughs> oh, no. 
Poor guy, Scorch Mail. Why it's zero three here? I actually you can't see my bad. Why it's zero three here? Okay, head size. Uh, I guess that's it. Huh? Mac, how does the max look like? Okay, it, it's a bit too big. Huh? Okay, that's good. Uh, head shape. I guess it's my neck. What is this? <laughs> okay, neck width. Yeah, a bit wider, I guess. Yes. Jaw. Like that. Cheekbones. Now it's size. What? I guess it's fine like that. Width. Wait, for the body there was some... Ah, feet. Big feet. Uh, okay. Oh, nose length. Nose length. Ah, I see. Nose arch. I guess it's fine. Like, like, like that. Nose position. Okay, no stilt. Uh, it's fine. Like that. <laughs> A bit angry. Eyes dipped. <laughs> oh no. Uh, I guess like this. Eyes narrow. Sus. Uh, close in it. Oh my god. Okay. Tilt. Uh, height. Eyes size. Uh, chin depth. Okay, I like that. Hair. Let's see. Do we have some uh, long hair? Whoa! Oh! I want something messier. Oh, yeah, I like this. Oh my god, how, how I, I, now I realize how I make his chin. <laughs> oh no. Oh, we'll make him gamble. Color. Uh. Okay, if it's saturation like that. Okay, let's. Yeah, red, but less saturation, less brightness. Oh, nice, nice. I, I like that. Okay, uh, confirm. I, I almost pressed on reset. Oh my god, okay, so many things, <laughs> so many things. Blood, okay, uh, head, ah, okay, so that's the HP. You're uh, kind of healthy for now. Inventory, we have rag loincloth. Dirty rags usually worn by slaves, beggars, and drifters. Uh, do we have money? Basic controls. Vlas uh, the keys, okay. W is okay. Uh, do both to continue. Uh, the middle. Bottom panel, okay. To select the squad member, left click the character icon. Yes. Give a move over to your character. Okay, wait. Double click on your character icon to center the screen. Okay, nice. Regular characters or interactable objects to interact 
hold the right mouse button to get uh, more available actions. Okay, let's see where there are those. Mercy Captain. Uh huh. Yeah. I need some missions to guard my outposts. Okay, never mind. For now, at least. Uh, uh follow. Finish. Okay. Uh game user interface overview. This shows your selection currency, okay. Uh okay. Uh Okay, attack, defense, strength, strength, spirit. Oh, wow! Current goal: aimless, <laughs> encumbrance, max possible speed: seventeen miles per hour. That's the name, Horus. I'm not sure if it's random or not. Probably I should have named him. Well, Horace it is then. Uh, dodge. Okay, let's see. Weapon indoors penalty. Weather penalty, base hit chance, 0%. Hello, human bonuses. Okay, weapon indoors penalty. Okay, your defense skill is, is your chance of blocking enemy attacks. Strength skills. Okay, this helps max carry weight, blunt weapon damage. Dexterity. Helps uh, weapon cutting damage. Toughness. Expirate. Health KO point. Uh, okay, so basically, from what I saw, you do not die specifically. Uh, okay, and dodge. Dodge skill. Okay, continue. This shows us that. Okay, we saw that. Oh, yeah, we can put pause. Okay, that's nice. Find the character uh, funds in game time and date. Day 1, 11 and 45 minutes. Nice. Build menu. Whoa, building. Small shack. Okay. Continue. Here you can... <clears throat> wait. Ah, inventory. Ah, map. Oh. That's a very big map. The hub. Okay, so we started in the hub. Nice. Yeah, I I, I knew the the map is gigantic. And with mods, I, I guess there are more. Dust bandits, holy nation, outlaws, hounds, mercenary guild, shinobi thieves, stray ninjas. Research. Mm -hmm. oh, those are many. Okay, crafting. For now, we can't do stuff. We have only one squad dialogue. AI. Ah, like an automation. Sleep when injured. So, okay. Uh, assign player jobs and orders for the selected character. No jobs assigned. Okay. Uh, what do I do? There is no linear story or mission to guide you in Kenshi. Be a trader, a thief, a bounty hunter, a farmer, or even a warlord. You'll need to explore the world and find your own adventure. Now, okay, I open the map. Uh, the okay. You need you'll need food and funds to survive. To get started, you can either scavenge the outlands for loot, mine available materials from iron ore veins, or you can even resort to thievery after nightfall. To cash in your loot, you'll need to find a store. Use the map to navigate to New Britain and found shops. Surviving alone in the world of Kenshi won't be easy, but hiring new recruits will help. Check the town bars for mercs or buy animal companions from any of the farms outside of town. Um, you're not special and you're not stronger than everyone else. Train hard, pick your fights wisely, and don't be afraid to run like crazy. What do we do, towns? Here are your first town. Towns are perfect for stocking up on supplies and sending loot. Selling loot. To cash in your loot, you'll need to find a store. Hold Alt uh, uh, to show nearby shop signs. Ah, oh, look, I, I can find uh, some items. I can take all of those and probably sell them. Nice. 
Be wary of entering private buildings. Residents often don't like trespass here. You can find out whether a building is marked public or private by selecting a building. Almost most shop close at night. So detailed. Such a detailed game. I love it. Okay, let's take those things. Hey, Perse was welcome. Hi, everything fine. What's up? Welcome to uh, a totally different game. I can't pick that up. Why? Ah, oh, god damn it! I don't have enough space. This is a different game, a way different game <clears throat> from what I'm used to. It's a, a gigantic sandbox RPG where you can do anything. For now, well, we have a basic character with nothing but some rags. <laughs> and we can choose to do anything. Not sure if you played Mountain Blade, for example. But it's similar to that in a way. Like, you have no specific goal. You make your own uh, adventure, let's say. To craft items, you need to build a workbench from the crafting section of the building menu. Uh... Workbench. Yeah, but I need to make it uh, somewhere where I'm not. Wait, where I am? The hub. Somewhere where I don't know. People want to attack me, I guess. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to to build it here. Well, it, it seems quite destroyed though. So I guess I can <clears throat> I can build stuff here. Well, I'm gonna try it anyway. So, uh, okay. So go here. Uh, building small shack. Yeah, I should build a small shack. Too close to another town. Uh... Uh, how to craft no bench. And you need to research all the necessary buildings, equipment, and schematics needed for crafting. Build a research bench to learn new tech and crafts. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna leave that for a bit later. And let me find the... Wait, let's exit this menu. I want to find the... A merchant. No merchants? Oh. oh, I saw someone. I see someone here. Uh, attack unprovoked. Follow. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I don't have anything. Wooden bowl, empty grog can, water jug. 30 credits value. Can I take more stuff? Nice. Mm. Prospect. Prospect thing. The window tells you information about the resources in the current area. The top section is uh, information at the point the character is standing. The lower section is a map of the resources in the vicinity. You can select the resource type that is shown on the map. Characters with a higher science skill will be able to detect resources from farther away. Water, fertility, stone. Okay, that's really damn cool. Though we can't build anything here, so... I guess we need to build something... Well... I hope I can build the thing here. Run, boy. Run. <laughs> I love the fact I can do that. So let's build a small shack. I want to build it on a <clears throat> more or less too close to a town. Uh, oh no, the game is... Uh... It's still too close. Hmm. Lone Shack. Let's go there. 
Let's go there. And maybe you can even use it in our in our advantage. Okay, so the lone shack is Is this one? Okay. Who are you guys? Cannibals? <clears throat> Holy Nation Outlaws. Uh, okay. Can I use this? Uh, I guess not. A new buyer, welcome. Looking to trade? Show me what you've got. Okay, first of all, I want to sell those things. And the hunger goes pretty bad, so... Mm, we need to buy some stuff. Dried meat. Uh. Oh, welcome, Mr. Resvi. Yes, some new game. Uh, it's a... Uh, it's an RPG sandbox, and I'm trying to understand how, how it works. Uh, what the hell is going on? Uh, yes. And basically we have a character, look at him. He's a big boy. And a big map. Big AF map. We'll look how big it is. And we, we can do anything. Not sure if you played Mountain Blade, for example, but uh, it's since it's a sandbox uh, game, we can do anything we want. Ooh, okay. What, what are you? Ninja Guard. Oh. Let's trade. Mm, I'm not sure what to trade. So I have... I have 1,102 credits. Food cube. Disappointing but nutritious. Squished into an efficient cube. How much? 800? Cooked vegetables. Bread. 600 credits. Oh my god. To be honest, I would... I'm not even sure what to do. I'm very tempted to buy... Uh, to create my own thing. Okay, the hunger, I see it's uh, better now. Attack on provoke. Uh, let's not. Okay, so what's with red? We can't. Uh, I can go up upstairs? Hello. Ninja guard. Ninja guard. Okay. Are high for the follow TV series? Uh, not, not especially hyped, but uh, I, I'm interested, yeah. I want to see. Uh, I'm interested because uh, it looked good. It looked good from the presentation, not gonna lie. Can't build too close. Okay. So it's still too close to the damn town. Rebel base. I don't know where to go then. Let's go... F uh, let's go further then. Let's go... I don't know. Here. Whoa. Yeah, let's build our shit here. <gasps> no, 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 I found, I found enemies. No. No, leave me alone. No, 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 no. No. No, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Uh... Ooh. Help me. Yes. Fight them. Fight the bloody bastards. I don't have a weapon. Oh wait, I have a iron club. Well, what the hell are those guys? 
Dust boss. Oh my god, they're tough. Oh no 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 no. Versus the main man? Yes. Well, but I apparently it was. Okay, let's fucking run. I have no damn chance against those guys. Run. Uh, they're very tough. Like this guy. Uh, blood, and I have. Uh, well, it's uh, it's kind of bad, but let, let's try it out. So, dust guys. So those are dust bandits, like a desert bandits, I guess. Okay, let, let's see how the hell it goes. Please, sir ninja, help me. Help me, sir. Yes. Where am I? Am I dead? Oh. 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 I got some cool shit. We got some good stuff. Look. Look at the... Wait, 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 wait pause. We got the helmet. We got the... Cool sword. So, what I like about this game is that we start as a total no, no one. You're a nobody. You're a full nobody, my friend. Ooh. Nice. Okay, so I can loot those guys. Uh, can I enter in? What? <gasps> okay. No, I can't see shit inside. How how do I toggle that? Ah, perfect. Okay, so uh, cutting damage, blunt damage. Are those pants from Zara? <laughs> uh, th they might be actually. Yeah, samurai boots. Stolen from, okay. Heavy armor class. Ah, okay, that's... Ah, no, I have the same. So, blunder is 13, 25. Oh, ho, ho, those are... Oh, ho, those are way better than, than those ones. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna keep those. And this, 12, 25, 60. Oh, okay. And this one? Okay, let's sell the stuff we have. Nice! I didn't expect... I, 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 it's very easy to die in this game. And if you die... Selling goods, no problem. Nice! Okay, let's loot all of those guys. I actually wanted to go build a house, but I was attacked by some bandits, so... I do not mind. Range. Inventory management. I truly don't mind. Do I need to heal myself? I don't have a med kit. Oh. Yeah, that's not good. We are hurt. Okay, let's sell this. We have 2000 credits now. Does this guy have a med kit? Please, pretty please. Dried meat. Uh. Building material? No. Basic first aid kit. Perfect. I need that. At least one. Okay. Now, how the hell do I use it? Uh. Okay. Oh! As, this game is very detailed. For example, as you can see, the left arm is quite hurt. <clears throat> Look at it. Your left arm is bandaging. It's slowly getting worse. Your combat and manual labor skills will be negatively affected. So yeah, pretty cool thing. Pretty damn cool thing. Also, we, we have a lot of uh, tutorials to get into, but... 
Uh, I'm gonna play it just a bit. I'm gonna go very in depth. Okay, okay, that was great actually. Uh, oh, and it's uh, nice. Okay, so it didn't consume itself. That's amazing. Uh, okay, let's compare. Uh, there is there any button to compare? No. Eight twenty. Yeah, okay. I guess they're exactly the same. Oh, they're back. The bands are back. Well, not anyway. <laughs> yeah, so I just wanted to build a base to build a poor guy's camp. So I can uh so I can do some crafting to yeah. But I, I apparently I can't. Damn bands, man. A range. No. The bandits. Oh, good thing I have those guys. That helped me, so I, I truly didn't mind. Okay. Okay. No. Okay. But yeah, this game isn't full of, uh, I don't know, action, let's say. Like, you won't see uh, uh, very action-based stuff like in Dark Souls. Or like in uh, other games that are more based on the combat. Like, here it matters a lot how you manage your character, what people you have in your squad, and so on. Like, it's not that... The direct. Pretty interesting though. I, I I like it. Though it's the kind of basic furniture. Research blueprint. Uh well I guess I need Who are you? Fu Min. Fu Min. Okay. Okay, did I loot all of them? Apparently not. Uh, okay, yeah. Okay, and I should buy something to eat just in case, or should I build building? Uh, should I buy building materials? Used to construct buildings, saving difficult transport in large quantities. Well, I hope now I can build stuff. Uh, I guess I'm gonna go here. Yeah, I need to watch... I need to watch... Uh, for out for... Uh, for creatures and stuff. Can you build your own house? Yes. Yes, we can build... Uh, we can build stuff. And I'm gonna build a shack for now. <clears throat> they can build a lot of stuff. Confirm. And now we need to build it. It will take a while. Oh. I just hope. No bandits. Wait. Shack. First. <clears throat> so yeah, we can build our own stuff. We can research. I, oh shit, I need to buy more building materials. Uh, okay, let's go to... Let me... Let me do it. Yeah, let's go to here again. They're rich though. 6,000 credits. We started with the 1,000. Uh, do we have building materials, sir? Yes. Let's go back to our shack and construct. Whoa. Whoa. Look at them. It is in the process of healing. Yeah, we need to wait a bit. 
See, he's still holding his hand like, oh, it hurts. I hope we have enough materials to finish the shack. Oh. Building small shack on strike complete. At your outpost. Oh. Oh. Very damn nice. And now let's check out the camping. Camp bed. Oh, we need a damn bed. Campfire. Well, I, I guess we can't put that in the house. Or can we? Farming. Lights. Torch post. Mining. Tech. Small. How can I rotate it, though? Can I, though? No. Mm. Wait a bit. Actually, I have another idea. Yeah, I have no idea how to rotate the buildings. Okay, one is here. And camp bed. How to steal buildings for sale building. Welcome to build mode. First try selling team building, okay. Building a small shack will allow you to build a research bench inside with this you can okay. Next, choose where to place the building on terrain. If the building shows red, there is an obstruction and you cannot place it. If blue, you're too close to another town. If green, you're good to go. To rotate the position of the building, use... Uh, uh, like that. Oh, Mr. Alex, welcome, my friend. The Kenshi experience. This is the first time I'm playing it, and I'm curious. Really curious how, how it is. And so far, I actually like it. I'm very bad at it, though. This game looks like Mad Max a post-apocalyptic universe. Yes, yes, it's uh, more or less steampunk. Uh, yeah. Select squad members and right-click on the to begin. Because it will much, be much quicker depending on the number of people who are assigned. Okay. Well, confirm. I don't have construction materials. Shit. Uh. Well, let's run back to the to the hub. Well, I'm checking out. If... Okay, we go through here. We have on the fastest speed, by the way. What 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 are you? Fu Min. Okay. Okay. Question is, do you have building materials, or uh, copper alloy plates? Mm, those are the things I sold. I should buy some uh, first aid kits, and let's go to. Uh, let's go to the hub. Though I didn't see any trader there. You, know, you got the inspiration from Mr. Payback. The plate, yes. You saw his run session. He's pretty into the game. Very complex. This one to be on. Yeah, it is. Who are you? Wandering assassin? <clears throat> yeah, it's very complex. It's very, very damn complex. Okay. Let's see. Do I have any damn shop? Anything? Anything at all? No? What's here? Uh, ah, this guy should be the bartender, okay? Let's trade. Oh, he has enough the building materials. Oh, yes. Okay, now let's go to our shack. Where the hell it is? Uh, I see it. Uh. Let's go. How are you doing, Mr. Alex? I hope you're doing fine. So what is this? Ah, the hub, okay. Let's go. Hey, Deadlight, hello, welcome. I hope you're doing fine. Whoa. Oh, we're mostly healed. Nice. Doing okay, kind of sleepy though. Yeah, same here. Same here today, actually. But, uh, I really wanted to stream. I, I... <gasps> Who are you? 
Who are you? Escaped servant. Hmm. Servant. Assassination? Maybe? That count provoked. Battery moving towards your outpost? No! <gasps> I'm killed. No. Where are the bandits? Oh no. I'm gonna get wrecked. I'm gonna get damn wrecked. Where are the bandits? Uh it said some bandits will be on my way on my way. Um you'll hit a sack early tonight. Oh the sack. Sigh, god damn it. Though Oh, those are the bandits? Oh no, I'm gonna get destroyed. Adding materials. Oh uh, Let's see, are those the ones? What's this? I, I'm literally not seeing anything. Whoa! Holy priest. Rub your shields. We oh, have raiders. Kalina, welcome. Welcome to the stream. Santa Pirate, hello. Star Funky, oh, welcome. The Overlord is here. Traveling. Thank you so much for the follow, Star Funky. Welcome. How was StarCraft? Let me give you a shout out. Welcome to the stream. I'm playing some Kenshin. Then we're gonna start with more Dark Souls 1 Deathless practice. Let me give you a shout out really fast. Please check out Kalina. She's a very nice streamer, also cosplayer and 3D artist. If you need 3D models, I recommend you check her work out. How are you doing? How was everything? Uh, wait, let me see if I missed something. I'm sorry. Uh, you changed your medication I actually managed to focus during the unit course today for once. Yes, that sounds great. Well done. Well done. That's actually a big step. Uh, I also had some fo focus problems sometimes, uh, sometimes, but well, in your case, uh, since I know the the main issue, or at least uh, from what I understand, from what I remember, that was the main issue. Uh, yeah, it's it's tricky. Hellion, welcome. Pretty doing fine. Uh, you're in mission eight with Protoss. Been fine so far. What's your favorite faction in StarCraft? Uh, Terran. Terran uh, is the. Um, how do you call it? Uh, yeah, Terran is the is my favorite faction because of two reasons. One, I love the music. Uh, wait. Let me put it. Let me put my favorite soundtrack from StarCraft One. YouTube. <clears throat> Turn you apart. Welcome, Gombot. Welcome, my friend. How are you doing today? StarCraft 1. Uh, soundtrack. And second of all, because I was... Uh, I used so many... Uh, how do you call them? Star uh, Battle cruisers. Battle cruisers were my favorites. They were slow. And the actual unit was saying like take it slow and i was like no don't take it slow go fast you're gonna die but i love uh that unit and i'm glad you you, you enjoyed it so far even if I, I saw you got a bit annoyed at the um, protoss mission where you played uh, with tassadar and the other two uh, soldiers uh, also binge the entire first chapter of the Dungeon Master's Guide and half a second almost got to part two. This book is absolutely huge. It's it's huge like... <laughs> yeah, yeah, I saw there, those those gu guides are pretty uh, comprehensive. The only time you tried using a battle cruiser is it died so fast. Uh, yeah, because it was slow. Take it slow. Thank you, it's as fuck. Working on becoming a giga chat. Oh, very damn nice. Oh yeah, I also lost... Four kilograms so far. One more to go. And yeah. I also feel my face is a bit tinier. Not, not sure if it makes any sense. But yeah, I, I feel better. Very damn nice. 
Uh, oh, so I didn't welcome. Battle Cruiser, uh, these are pretty powerful. Yes, yes, especially if you did the upgrade with the Yamato gun. Okay, let me put the music. This isn't the my favorite one. Let me see which one is it. This one is nice. I think this one is my favorite. Yeah, I think th this one's my favorite. Uh, space Rednecks. Yeehaw! Nah, this one. This one. Wait, let, let me deactivate the sound from uh, Kenshi a bit. Yeah, th this one is my favorite. Uh, I forgot the ones from StarCraft 2. Let's see. It's also Terran run, but from uh, StarCraft 2. Everything has a vibe about StarCraft gameplay music, loved it when you were a child. Uh, I didn't play StarCraft 1 when I was a kid. Uh, I finished StarCraft 1 uh, recently. Gumbon knows when. <laughs> uh, I, I think half a year ago? Yeah, I think half a year ago. I finished both StarCraft 1 and, and uh, Brood War. Good stuff. And I played StarCraft 2, uh, I played the, the Wings of Liberty, and the... Uh, how do you call it? And the uh, Heart of the Swarm, the play... Uh, the, the two... How do you call it? Uh, the first two campaigns. You'll play Brood War next, you're uh, most likely. Yeah, I, I saw you didn't win. No, uh, it would have been nicer to to see you play play it after the, the main campaign, since it makes more sense. Uh, but uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, I saw, I saw you asked me. Uh, my bad. Is your monitor uh, HDR? What do you mean by that? I try have no damn clue. Let's see. AOC. Well, let me see. Uh, I think I found it. Yeah, I. Oh no 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 no! Not that one. I wish I had that one. Wait, well, one bit. Uh, disable audio. Display show. Okay. Toggle zoom. Toggle zoom. Okay, so I think I have this one. Yeah, this is the one. AOC. Yeah, this is the one. Uh, I'm almost sure it doesn't have HDR. Uh, why asking though? Technical specifications. So, it has free sync. Uh, 144 hertz, and that's it. And it's curved. HDMI, display port, VGA. I I liked it because it had VGA. Uh, because back then I had the VGA. Uh, how do you call it? Uh, GPU. Also, I'm sorry if I reply so slow. Sorry. Uh, I, ha I really, yeah. Uh, you think Fault also does uh, an awesome job with music and anime series? Yes, especially the older ones. Especially the older ones, but also the... Actually, all of the Fallout games, even Fallout 4, which is my least favorite, has an amazing anime here. Not so memorable StarCraft 2, uh, but I liked it. 
So yeah, Wings of Liri is the best campaign in StarCraft 2 in your opinion? I, I really liked it, even the ending. Not gonna give spoilers, but yeah. Oh, Mortuary, long time no see, welcome. How did you feel about it? Overhyped uh, or is the game good? What do you say? Uh, which one? Uh, which one? Uh, oh my god, I can't talk today. About which game you mean, uh, Sorin? Uh, StarCraft 2 or something else? Or uh, GTA? Because I saw everyone talking about GTA 6. I don't care about it that much. Though I'm curious how it will be, especially since it's also in Vice City as a location. Uh, Heart of the Storm is... Uh, man, Legacy of the Void is okay. 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 High dynamic range. I, I know what HDR is, but I mean, I'm not sure if this has HDR. Oh, welcome. I, I saw you have uh, your own project, by the way. The uh, coding uh, coding project. How how that how is that going for you? I, I remember when we first talked and you were still learning, and now from what I I assume you you reached uh, at least uh, mid mid end level engineer, and if that's so, I'm I'm really I'm really happy. I don't want to say proud because you now we we're probably more or less the same level. So yeah, but I'm really happy if it goes well. Think of doing some streams directly from your PlayStation 5, but you're using an HDR TV and you know for a fact that HDR footage has faded colors on a, re a regular screen. Uh, I know I know what you mean. Yeah, it, it doesn't have HDR. It, it doesn't have it. Though they're quite old. I have two of the same type. Uh, how long are we going to be uh, still live? I think at least two more hours. So yeah. StarCraft 1? Uh... So how do I feel about it? Overhyped, overhyped, or is the game good? StarCraft One is a very good game, uh, especially after the remake. Uh, the only thing that I disliked, but it's an old game, it's fine. Like I don't mind it anyway. Uh, the only thing I dislike about StarCraft One is uh, the pathfinding. But most RPGs have. Uh, RPGs, RTS games have bad pathfinding, including Spellforce. So in Spellforce, if you play PvP, it's... Uh, oh, if you play PV, it's totally fine. It's... Though in Spellforce, Spellforce is a bit better than StarCraft 1, but let's see. Spellforce 1. So Spellforce 1 came in 2003, and StarCraft 1 came out in... 1998 so it's a five years difference and five years back then it's big so yeah i would say uh they did a great job i can't uh... it's a good game it's a good game series fan of gta either you only like the driving in vice city when you when you were a little i never finished vice city i played with cheats so much <laughs> and um Ah, uh, how do you call it? I played with cheats so much, and when I saw some boobs on the on the building, I reached that mission. You know, it was with the uh, actually I'm gonna show you boobs on building. Uh, Vice City. Yeah, exactly this one. When I saw this, when I saw this, I was like, okay, I finished the game. <laughs> the, the... But I was very little. I, I'm not sure how... I'm... They, they look like balloons, to be honest. They don't even look that... Anyway. Uh, they're not realistic. But yeah. Uh, the only GTA I finished is GTA 4. And I liked it. I really liked the GTA 4. But uh, yeah. Is Vice City Tits seeing that in a game is pretty cool? Yes. Thank you so much for remembering that failed onto new ventures. Worked for a Swiss company, now we work for a porn company with a friend. Hired two more peeps to help us out. We're building different products for them. Nice. Nice. That's... It does... If... The... I'm not sure how to say it, but... The domain doesn't matter. Like, I worked in... Uh, this is no... Nothing private. Uh, I worked in... Uh, three big domains as a developer I mean uh, e-commerce which is well mm, I'm not sure how to explain it online shopping usually um, <clears throat> like you know for example Amazon 
Uh, I didn't work for Amazon though, but you get the idea. Um, the other thing uh, was marketing, like promotions, presentation websites, and so on. And the third one was for back office, for support, for more back office stuff. So yeah, that's that's what I worked. That's what I worked uh, as. Toggle zoom. Display hide. Yes, it still works. Okay, I'm gonna play just a bit and then we're gonna go back to Dark Souls 1. Uh, I'm gonna get destroyed by those. Uh, it's uh, You never finished Vice City, ne neither GTA 3 or 4. You were thinking of starting playing uh, them on stream? Oh, your stream was well nice. Very cool new toys to make your stream feel so premium. Wait, I have many more things. I, uh... I... So, some very cool people created Streamer Bot, which is very custom customizable. Uh, if you write points, you can check out how many points you have. Well, I added an insane amount for myself. Yeah, Streamer.Bot. If you put Streamer.Bot on, uh, on Google, you're gonna find it. And it has many things. For example, I'm gonna do a showcase of some effects. For example, this is one of my favorites. Well, it's a it's cliche at this point, but still. And I managed to do the face tracking for the glasses, for example. That took a while. Uh, I also have, I don't know, I have uh, this. Uh, what else? Those are a bit more expensive. Horn music. <laughs> what? Mm. Not sure what porn did you watch. I I, I didn't hear. It. What? Love it. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna get this straight here. Let Let's go to the damn camp. Run. Run. Uh, there will be some bandits on, on the way to, to me, so fuck it. I'm gonna stay here. He knows when the scenes, uh, scene gets intense. Uh, custom scripting all runs locally? Yes. Yes. It's made in C-sharp. So you can write your own custom C-sharp code. Which is very damn cool. Okay, I'm gonna stay here. Don't tell me those are the bandits. <laughs> See, sharp baby. You missed that language. Yeah, let me show you how it looks. So the streamer bot UI looks like shit. But it has so many cool things. Wait. Display show. Toggle zoom. Well, and here you can make so many things. You can also see the current viewers. Uh, so I have a lot of things. I have triggers. Uh, I don't know. You can see quotes. You can see the uptime. You can search for an urban dictionary thing. And it will give you a link. I don't know. For example, let's say urban... No. Bro. Or not, not bro. Let, let's search for something specific. Riz. <laughs> and it should work. Term used for cocaine. <laughs> okay. Okay, amazing. It's not always very... I made also a converter, like from Fahrenheit to Celsius and so on. Pyramids, shoutouts, a welcome message, though I removed it for now. Uh, maybe I will add a redeem. Though I have many redeems. If you type in exclamation mark commands, you can see how many commands I have. Uh, oh yeah, the the sound effects, the webcam effects, the voice effects. Uh, this is only for the points, the point system. Those are all of the redeems, 35 redeems. Um, utility for myself, more or less. Voice commands, 
Though I want to change all the voice commands. I don't want to have voice commands anymore. And I want to use... Oh, the pyramid. Well done. I want to use a custom streamer deck. Stream deck. Uh, since I don't think it's a Elgato stream deck is worth it in my case. Since I'm not... Uh... Oh yeah, the commands. There, there are many things. A lot of things. But yeah. And for example... Let me see. To, to show you the thing with the... Um, uh, C-sharp code. Um, mm -hmm. Execute code. And you can put your own code here. Which is very damn cool. And that's it. It has the documentation. You can make your own code. Though, imagine it or not... Most of the things I use here are, are made by someone else, and I just adapted them to what I have. Uh, Design-wise, though, I, of course, added my personal touch to everything. Uh, I don't know what interesting redeems I have anymore. Like, something that I could show you. Oh yeah, screenshot. This is a cool thingy. So I made a... Okay. I made a channel. And if I type screenshot, and I'm gonna enter. Yeah. <laughs> and you can, <laughs> you can see it there. It will, uh, it will post it here. But yeah, the design of the application isn't amazing. But for me, it's okay. I don't mind. Toggle zoom. Display hide. Use a keyboard as a stream that can print out icons on a paper and the glue them on the keycaps. Yeah, it works. Uh, oh, damn, they're using WinForms. Oh my god, all UI libraries, yes. I'm not sure if you can see the game. Oh, now you can see the game. Nice. Okay, please leave my... Campbell. How many of them are there? Black Dragon Ninjas. Okay, I I'm gonna go here and see what was gonna happen. Fuck it. Well, let's just go here. Hey, he wants decent loot. Huh? Wait, it, it goes too fast. A am I gonna die if I go here? When you oh my god. Are, are, are they gonna fight each other? In my camp? Oh, okay, they're... What? Oh, no. <gasps> that was very fast. <laughs> oh my god, I got destroyed. I got fucking destroyed. Unconscious. Recovery coma. Too much damage, you won't be getting up again until all critical body parts have recovered above zero. Oh, and oh, this one. Did I die? Did I lose? My minus 15. Oh, okay. Oh, they're fighting. Oh my yeah. god. Windfirms still have a lot of uses? Yeah. So, to understand what the hell is happening here, we are just a random dude. We don't have any story, anything, any goal. Well, and we make our own goal. And the goal is to, well, build this damn shack. And in this shack I want to do some crafting and, well, you know, get, have the revenge against those guys. Recovery coma. Oh, oh, oh. Well, until well he fixes himself. Let's see. You're injured. Too much damage can result in KO, crippling, and death. The green bars in the health panel show your health. The red bars show bleeding damage. Bleeding damage will need first aid. In order to heal, you'll get. Uh, you'll need to get a first aid kit. You can buy or steal them from the stores in town. Okay. You're injured too. To look character, you'll need a first aid kit. 
in your inventory hold and right click the target then select first aid from the menu finally right click uh, the heal icon over the injured person okay heal yourself you can click the medic button from the right side command menu this will heal all wounded squad members within the range okay oh no okay now can i build some stuff in my own camp pretty please i want to build this this with a crafting thingy all body parts are each affected in their own way your head chest and stomach are your vitals if any of them fall below a zero you will pass out if they reach minus 100 day then you will die if any of your limbs fall below zero, you won't be able to fight or walk properly. You can use a splint kit on broken limbs to speed up recovery and improve the limbs function until recovered. The blood stat shows how rapidly you're losing blood. Blood is slowly recovered over time, but if it drops below zero, you'll pass out. After using a first aid kit to bandage your wounds, uh, sleeping in a bed will help fully recover more quickly. You can Please don't kill me. Oh! Wait, who are you? Dust bandits? <gasps> no. The wind firms are supported on uh, Mono? Since when? I fully supported Mono on the next night. Last time you used Mono, there was no UI support. The more you know. The more you know. I don't have any building materials. Oh no. Sleeping in a bed. Okay. Well, I guess I need to go back here. Can I go back without dying? <gasps> no. No. Do you? No, 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 no. Not that bad but yeah this game is very difficult a wind form designer may not exist for mono but mono itself supports wind forms oh okay the more you know yeah from what i knew you're KO'd knocked out seriously when the unconscious tab was changed to dying and the character won't get back up until healed by another character if they don't get first aid in time they will eventually die even after healing a character will need time to recover before regaining consciousness Regularly, her bad injuries will enter the character into a recovery coma until their vitals have improved above zero. Getting KO'd may seem like a failure, but remember, we learn best from our failures. Your toughness and defense stats will be improved each time you're KO'd. This will increase your KO recovery threshold over time. Nice. So, the more you get beaten... Oh no. Oh no. This is bad. I, I think we died. Like, this doesn't seem to go... And I don't have any squad member. Uh, I shouldn't have went out of the house. Auto save. When did it save? Mm. This one. Where am I? You watch Loving the Tor Solo on the Kenshi game series on YouTube. Have you watched any YouTube content on Kenshi? No, uh, not really, but I watched a friend uh, of mine that played this game uh, with a passion. On oh, no. Okay, so this save is exactly... Okay, so I guess this one should be good. This game is amazing, though. It, it's so complex, it looks bad. Like, if you look at it, you're like, what the hell is this UI? This bleh, looks horrible. Uh, by my standard, it's I'm totally fine with this, so I, I don't mind. Okay, so this save is good. We we can well continue without actually getting fucked. So that's nice. Okay, we build this, put pause, and let's go back here. Let's go in the hub. Pretty fast. Whoa. You, mu you yourself can't find the time to invest in Kenshi. Is really yeah yeah. Oh no, no. I think I'm doing the same mistake. But let's see. Maybe this time I'm I'm gonna be able to run. Oh oh oh. oh go go here. Oh. 
Nice. Nice. Okay, now let's... Can't I heal? Ooh, okay, that was... Scary. Uh, does that guy have a... Bow on his head? Okay. Hunger. Hmm... Advanced alloy of steel and copper for specialized building work. This is cool, but... Oh, building material. Perfecto. Uh, well, now I should go back to my shack. Yeah, uh, the reason I'm playing this is that... I actually postponed this a long time. And I was like, okay, you know what? I, I want to play it. And I'm gonna play it now. Uh, and I said I'm gonna play just in the start of the stream, and then we're gonna... <gasps> oh! I got fucked up, and I... Oh! Oh! Oh, no. So what the hell are those? Wait, wait. Can I heal myself? Oh, I can heal myself. Oh, so I'm not completely fucked up. Nice. Well, I shouldn't kill so close to those guys, but... Okay, let's save. Uh, bandit bast bastards. I don't know. Also, mortuary. I think the last time, not sure when you joined last time, <clears throat> but I know you, we were talking a lot. We were talking a lot uh, when I was playing Dark Souls. I'm still playing Dark Souls, but now with the twist. So I'm doing a Deathless challenge for the ones that do not know. And my best record is one death. I managed to finish Dark Souls 1 with one uh, death. Which is good, but. Ah, uh, that, that, it, it's one death. It's not the, the best. No, they were he hiding. Wow. Starving bandits. No. I'm unconscious. I didn't see them. I, I guess there is a, uh, also a spotting skill. Like the the more you sp the better you have spotting, uh, more chances to to see them from the distance, from a better distance. I'm assuming at least. Heal yourself, please. Okay. Uh, building time. I really like this game though. <gasps> uh, wait. Who are you? The game seeks in. Oh, enjoy the. Pizza, my friend. Gonna go watch the magicians. Very damn. Wait, the magicians? What? What is that? Thank you so much, my friend. Long time no see, by the way, and I'm really glad to see you. Uh, also, someone else joined back from like I didn't see them in three years or something, so, and that <laughs> really made me happy. I sorry we're still on Discord, by the way, so uh, so we can talk at any time you want. Please run. Please no. Okay, I'm getting fucked. Did they loot me from anything? Doesn't seem so. At least I'm not complete dead. And yeah, thank you, thank you so much for joining. I re really appreciate it. Mm. Melee defense. Well, I guess since I, I was beaten so many times. <laughs> Recovery coma. Uh, this needs to be uh, zero. And this needs to be also zero. Who are you? Starving bandits. What? Who's this? Starving bandit crippled? Oh, he's gonna die. He's gonna die. Look at me.
Mi minus 100. They lost a leg. Totally destroyed. Okay, so I need to have... Uh, this will take a while. Ah, okay, so I need the chest to be zero. It's a cool show. Saw it when you were in high school. Don't remember shit. They're watching it right now as an adult because now you're not confused by everything. You know why everything you watched in high school is like a blur and a mess in your head? As an adult, you feel like uh, you can see things clearly. Yeah, because you don't have a focus, maybe, or maybe your perspective. Your perspective is different, anyway. Like, for example, when I played Spellforce back then, and I was in high school as well, I don't remember much from back then. I only remember I loved it, and I remember just some kind of armor and some enemies and the place on a bridge, and th that's everything I remember about Spellforce back then. But then I replayed it. The music is a bit loud. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh. Seven, five. Yeah, I'm not sure why it's so. When I started, when I started the game, it was so low, and now it's so. Low. I don't know. Anyway, thank you. I need to go to yes, zero point five. Even less, actually. Um, just got the uh, Sky Showtime, so it's there. You should watch it if you like magical shit, but don't like Harry Potter. I like Harry Potter, but... Oh, oh. Okay, let's heal and get the hell out of here, please. Pretty please. I need to heal. And of course, I'm moving slow as hell. Because our leg is... Uh, is uh, bad. What do you know about eerie vibes? <laughs> uh, oh my god, my shack is in such bad condition. <laughs> what you're trying to say is the magic and tone of the show is very different compared to something like Harry Potter. Very adult, very fucked up. E yeah, I, I assume so. Like, it's more serious, somber, I guess. Hmm. Hunger. Okay, I should eat something. Uh, meat trap. No room for that. Okay, now can I splint injuries? Uh, dried meat. Can I eat? How do I eat? Playing dead. Thief, you just stolen from someone. Be careful when selling stolen goods to traders. You might just find yourself in trouble with the law if they catch you offloading their allies' belongings. When you talk to a trader, initiate the trade screen. Hover over a stolen item to check your chances of fencing success before selling. If the fencing chance is low and it was stolen from the same faction, you likely get caught. Your best chance of selling stolen goods is to sell it to a trader from another town and faction. Or find a thief in one of the town bars. Thieves will buy any item of you risk free. However, their prices are much less profitable than official merchant prices. Yes, Kenshi is damn complex. Uh, so, you you were talking about um, the other one. Let me see the name again Sky Showtime. Okay. Uh, it has good CGI compared to shows like The Flash. That show became cringe, uh, cringe fest and started to look like shit in lightning bolts. Yes, yes. Have a good one, my friend. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you enjoyed the, the watch and the pizza. Very damn nice. And yes, Kenshi is quite complex. But I quite enjoy it. I, I really do. I, I might play it more. Uh, no, I don't have enough space. No. Well, I hope I can go back to my damn camp now. Please. Pretty please. Oh, my leg isn't fully recovered. I guess I would need to sleep. I want to at least finish some buildings. And I guess that's... 
We are gonna build a... How do you call it? Um, tech mining, stone mine. Do I have, still have my weapons? Yes, nice. Hunger. You're well fed and currently have no problem. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Who are you? Starving bandits. Jesus Christ. Sneak. Sneaking. Uh, you're entering cell mode. In this mode, you can perform cell knockout, skin apps, and steal stuff. The cell cursor displays two icons, an, an eyeball and a sun. When the eyeball is red, it means that you're in view of nearby NPCs. When the eyeball is blue, it means that you're currently out of anyone's line of sight. The sun icon shows the light level. When the sun is shaded, you're at your at your least visible. Hint nightfall is prime time for sneaking. If you're a stealth knockout, right click on an NPC while sneaking. The percentage shows the chance of success. The higher assassination skill, the higher the chance. To kidnap and KO the NPC, hold right click on them and select kidnap from the command menu. Okay. So for now no. No no no. They see me. Oh, at last. Can I go to my post, please? Passive. Haunt. Hold. Run. Run, boy. Maybe if I close the door, they won't be able to <laughs> invade my house. <laughs> Probably they still can, but... Uh... Camp bed. Wait, wasn't this in progress? Mm. I guess I'm gonna build another one. Ah, no, undo. Undo. Ah, okay. I don't have building materials. What do you mean? Do I need something else for the bed? Uh, materials cost one sleeping bag. Uh, I need a sleeping bag. Uh. Uh. Perma jobs. Okay. Sign a job selected character. Hold shift. I'll right click to interact. Oh. Uh huh. Operating metal machine campfire. Hauling to campfire. Multiple jobs. Stop most jobs in orders. Menu will always take priority. Okay. Okay, that's cool. Okay, nice. Well, do your job now. No? What the hell are you doing? So not, so I don't have the sleeping bag. Hmm. God damn it. Medic. Medic. I don't have anyone to heal. Let's see what we can craft. Hmm. Uh, inventory. Sure, research. Gear storage. No, no, no. Crafting. Squads. Dialogue. Faction. Hmm. New building. Oh. Oh, nice. Armor storage. Weapon stand. Weapon cabinet. Bolt box. Crossbow locker. Tag level 2. Small house. Public sales shop counter. Item storage. This should be cool. Public sales. Yeah, well, let's let's do it. Out research tech. Okay, we buy blueprints. Scientist and scientist research bench. Yeah. 
Select the research and do it. Okay. Turn around the way to your outpost. Okay, that's nice. Ah, uh, okay, and here it shows it. Nice. That that is really cool. I like it. Hmm. So we need a sleeping bag. God damn it! What else can we do? Stone mine processors. Uh. Yeah, but I need stone. Stone processor. Lights, torch post, farming, farming vegetable. Hmm. Crop yield, environment arid. Okay, so I guess everything should be on uh, green. Well, oh, oh, that's quite cool actually. Nice, I'm gonna build that. Confirm. So now we need to wait for this to happen, and then we will be able to build more. Look at my character. So yeah, it's pretty cool. I, I really like it. It takes a lot of time to build your stuff, to customize your uh, things. But uh, yeah. It's uh, it's quite complex. What? Uh, oh yeah, the research is done. Nice. So now we can build other stuff. Let's see. Uh, storage, uh, food store, food store, food store, journal, journal storage boxes, uh, journal storage chest, uh, I guess, I guess. Ah, it's, it's that direction. Okay, my bad. So I guess like this. Okay, metal chest. Ooh. Can I store anything in here? Okay. Oh, I still have to get used to the, with the controls though. So shift. Ah, oh, no. No, no, my bad. It's with those keys. Okay. Okay, iron plates. Okay, so I can't build this yet. Well, then I... I guess I'm gonna let those out. Uh, building material. Uh, building material. Okay, so this works. Nice. I'm gonna build this one. Boop. I'm not using... On, I'm not used on using that key. That's... Uh, fine. Confirm. Whoa. Oh, this is a trader, right? Talk to you. Caravan boss. <laughs> oh my god, I, I'm... Oh no. Let's trade, okay. What do you have? Standard fa first aid kit. Out of... He went... He went too fast. I should have... Uh, yeah, that was my bad. Any materials. Okay, let's build a well. Wait, how, how many crafting materials do you need? Don't tell me you need one more. Please. Oh. No, he needs one more. God damn it. Can I build... Oh yeah, I don't have the materials. Yeah, it's a really cool game. Building. Well, you didn't write building correctly, but you get the idea. Okay. Well, that was with Kenshi. Now, we're gonna get back to Dark Souls. Uh, after short pause, be right back. <laughs> 